Right, just a quick brief then of the vehicle itself, what we're working with. Uh, minus this part, obviously, that's the camera mount for later when we're fitting. I'm just going to show you the direction we're going in. The original controller was wired up to these. Um, runs the potentiometers up in here, which sets your top speed acceleration. Mystery item on the third. I'll find out what that is shortly, but we'll get that. Uh, then we've got this that runs up to the throttle. It's been divided up. Here's your on-off button here. There it is, throttle power, which is black and red to this side. Um, green would be the throttle signal back that went into the potentiometer that you could adjust. Um, one thing I want to change with this one is the internal bay. A panel comes off this side, um, but it's also quite exposed in there. Um, as you can see, a splash marks in there, so water has been getting in there, basically. So what we're going to do before we put a brand new battery in there, we're going to seal along every edge. This back panel will never be removed, only this panel. So we're going to seal along every edge, front and back, all around. Then I'm going to line the actual bay itself, because this thing gets jumped, with one inch foam all the way around, uh, cut to shape. Then we're going to fit the battery in. Then we're going to pack it further. Uh, basically waterproof and secure is the aim of the game on this one. Um, if fun bike's built in and it lasted that long, I would like to match it if possible. So that's where we're going. Controller gets mounted on the underside, hence why the seat had to be removed, otherwise we'd never get access to it. Um, apart from that, it's a nice little bike. Uh, hydro's front and rear. So, so we can't moan there. This thing does do what it says it's supposed to do. Nice chain. Motor doesn't look like it's had any no damage except the normal wear and tear for the past, well, call it 2019, 20, 21, 22. It's three years of use, so it's not bad. But the original throttle was a half twist uh, with a four stage indicator with an on off switch. Uh, we'll change that if the customer wants to a full throttle with a key start ignition. It might not be suitable if this is getting used roughly in case the key ever snaps. But we'll get to that when I speak to the customer. Apart from that, that's what we're working with. Hopefully, if we can get all that tapped out today, we can move on to some of them. Um, that'll be fun. And there are three e-bikes. That one's having a custom battery made for it because it's dual suspension. That one wants to go 50 miles an hour. And that one wants to be a scrambler because it's got fat tyres. So that'll be fun as well. Plus we got a nice 3000 watt motor over there to fit. And all this battery stuff and controllers to cut off. For the next video, we'll be cutting off the connectors from the old one. Uh, the ones we want, which is just going to be the power and motor if I'm honest. The rest I'm going to do myself. Uh, when it comes down to the other connectors for the throttle, etc. I'm not using these connection blocks. I am going to snip the wires and hard solder the wires to wires. A uh, simple reason is from experience of repairs. Most of the damage on scooters and bikes start with these connection blocks getting water damage. Um, some of them burn out if they're taking power. I do not like these connection blocks. Some I will keep for ease of use and serviceability in the future. Everything else I will cut off and hard solder. It takes a bit longer. The result's better in the end. So next video is a boring one. Me burning some cables, soldering all this. We're going to fit this to the bike. Get that wheel spinning. Then we'll line the bay. Tart it up. Should be able to wrap this up today actually. Right, be back shortly.